Hello and welcome to this episode of the English Idioms series where we're focusing on the idiom to be like two peas in a pod. As always, we'll begin by thinking about the meaning of this idiom. We'll focus on some interesting pronunciation features and then we'll have a couple of examples to finish. So, to be like two peas in a pod. The meaning, which is taken from the Cambridge Dictionary Online, is to be very similar, especially in appearance. So the way that people look, maybe the clothes they choose, uh, the hairstyles, that kind of thing. So thinking about pronunciation then, uh, we've got three features that are worth paying attention to. We've got that weak t, t be, instead of to, which is quite strong. We often soften it to t with the schwa, t, to be. And then with p's in a, p's ends in a consonant and in ends in a consonant. So what often happens in natural, fluent, connected speech is that those three words kind of run in together. P's in a, p's in a almost sounds perhaps like one word. And then you've hopefully noticed that I didn't say P's in A, I said P's in A. Because of the P at the beginning of the word pod, we soften off the vowel. It's a weak vowel, a uh, P's in A. So to run that whole thing through one more time, to be like two P's in a pod. Great. So let's have a look at a couple of examples. Jill and her daughter are like two peas in a pod. They both wore the same dress at the party and looked like two peas in a pod. Now, generally, I'm going to say that people use this either as a neutral or possibly a, a positive idiom for me anyway. Um, I don't I don't get any negative feeling from this one personally. I'm not entirely sure what other native speakers would say about that. But for me, it's kind of a cute idiom. It's nice. So it's your turn. Have a think about how you might be able to use this idiom in a sentence. Um, my tip is that if we want to change the tense, it's the word look that we change. So you look like two peas in a pod now. In the past, you looked like two peas in a pod. So have a go. Leave your example in the comments below. Click to subscribe down there on the red button if you haven't already and check out the playlist for lots of other idioms and examples that you can use to improve your English. Of course, check out the homepage for other playlists. Thanks for watching and have a lovely day.